Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a plan with me, planning my upcoming week, and I'm also going to be answering your questions that you sent me over social media. So the way I get started planning my week is I print out new inserts for the week. Um, the weekly inserts are from Peanuts Planner Co. and the daily inserts are from my shop. So what I do is I go in and pull out last week's inserts, the weekly and the daily, and then I take any uncompleted tasks and I transfer them to my brain dump lists in the back of my planner. So while I go ahead and get that started, I will answer a few of your questions. So the first question is from Angela and she asks, what made you open the planner spot and how do you balance home, work, and shop life? So I never intended to start an Etsy shop and I think it started the way a lot of shops started. I was just kind of looking for inserts that fit my particular needs and I couldn't find any so I ended up designing my own. And then when I posted pictures of them um, like on Instagram and stuff, people started asking me where they can buy them. So the same thing with stickers. I couldn't find any, at that time, any minimalist kind of stickers. And so I decided to design my own. So that's how both of those got started. Um, it was just purely by accident, but it has totally changed the course of my life. So I'm very grateful for that. And then how I balance homework and shop life is a work in progress. It's very hard to balance those things. Um, obviously, family and home comes first. And then I do have a day job, which takes priority because it pays the bills. Um, and then I have to squeeze in the planner spot when I can. Luckily, I've been making enough money with the shop that I was able to reduce hours um, in my day job, which has helped with the balance, but it's always a juggling act and always a work in progress. So just by making little tweaks here and there and just getting closer and closer to that balance, I don't know if any of us could ever truly achieve it, but we do the best we can. So that's that. And then the next question is from Myrna. Um, what got you into planning the first time and what is a planner trend you fell into that you regret? So I have been planning since I was a teenager, actually like preteen, and that was many years ago. And I can't remember how exactly I got into planning. I do know that I've always loved planning. I've been planning as long as I can remember. And um, I just always loved making lists. I love calendaring. I love writing things down. So I just, I really don't remember when it started, but I just know that I've always loved to plan. And then a planner trend that I regret is those infamous Target dollar spot page flags. There was a time where all of us were going crazy for those and I was no exception. Um, I would visit multiple targets in a day and spend way too much money and I ended up not using most of the stuff I was hoarding and so it was fun while it lasted. It's just, it was a high when you find those page flags you want but I definitely spent way too much money. Um, Donna asks a few questions. Um, one is, were you always a minimalist have you ever purchased cutesy kits for decorating? And will you continue to help those reach minimalist status with your tips, tricks, and advice using your new motto? So I think I've always been a minimalist in life in general for the most part, but especially in planning because I just really like a clean, orderly look. I have purchased like really decorative kits and I really do love them. I love watching people plan with them. However, it didn't last very long with me just because all those cutesy stickers really like messed with my mind and I couldn't really focus on the tasks I was trying to do. Um, it was just way too distracting. So, I mean, I do still love them and sometimes I do kind of indulge in those but for the most part I don't buy too many cutesy kind of sticker kits anymore 
and yes, I do plan to continue with um, helping people plan functionally and minimally if that's what how you want to plan. I definitely want to do more videos and blog posts and and just share information on minimalist planning. So yes, definitely trying to do things to help you plan a life you love. Donna also asks, what are the pros and cons of each planner that you have experienced for both personal and business? That is a great question and I actually want to write a blog post or do a separate video on that, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I just got done transferring all the uncompleted tasks into my planner um, brain dump area and now I'm going to my weekly recurring tasks that are always at the front of my planner. So these are tasks that I do every week and I use this list to guide my weekly planning. So I take my new fresh weekly inserts and I just date them and then I go into my Google Calendar where I keep all my like appointments and day specific things, um, meetings and stuff like that and I transfer them to this insert. So the first row is all day things like birthdays, days off, vacations, stuff like that. And then the second row is all the timed things like meetings, appointments, and all that. So I go back and forth in my Google Calendar and start filling in those two rows first. So as I'm doing that, let's continue on with the questions. So my planner twinsy Nicole um, Sequins and Paper asked, what sparked your journey into the planner world and what was your system before and what drives your passion behind planning? So I mentioned that I've been planning for as long as I can remember, but what really, um, I guess I can talk about how I found this planner community is I was doing my planning in a bullet journal or a moleskin and I was doing bullet journaling even though I had no idea there was a such thing. I was doing my own version and I was looking for some stamps to make it easier for myself. So while searching for stamps, I stumbled upon the planner community and I was blown away because I had no idea that it existed. and. I never looked back. So basically that's what kind of jump started this part of my journey with planning. And um, my system before, like I said, I was in a moleskin. Prior to that, I was in like day runners and day timers. Um, sometimes just notebooks where I make my own thing. And since then I've tried all those different planners that are out there right now. Um, I actually have a collection of them that you might have seen in a previous video. And then what drives my passion behind planning? I don't know, I just really love to plan. I kind of nerd out about it. Um, I definitely, as I'm getting older, I definitely need to write things down in order to remember them. So that's a big thing. And then also I have tons of like things I wanna do in life and it just helps me to write it down and plan it out. So I really am passionate about setting goals, chasing dreams, and planning helps accomplish all of that. As well as um, when I found this planner community, I never knew that planning could be so creative before it was super functional. And I'm still functional and minimalist, but I do get creative with it. So that drives my passion for it a lot too, is just being able to have it as a creative outlet. Um, Sarah, asked a number of questions um, first of all what and who inspires you um, so many things art music movies books magazines I mean anything and everything inspires me but I would say number one is other creators I love seeing what other people create I love seeing their process I love seeing their what they make what they create I just get so inspired by, by other creators, so that's probably the number one thing. Okay, so on this part of the planning, I'm about to pull out my sticker binder because I use um, my doodle stickers to mark certain things on my weekly inserts. So 
I mark, let me see, I have a, I have heart stickers which I use to mark dates with my family, with my husband or me time. I have balloons for birthdays and celebrations. I have bows for reminders. I have TVs to mark my shows and envelopes to mark happy mail. So I like to use just my doodle stickers for this um, insert just because I keep it very minimal, but I still like to mark those special things with a little something. So that's why I use my doodle stickers. So back to um, Sarah's second question, what are you reading or watching currently? So right now I'm waiting for Crazy Rich Asians to come out. I'm super excited for it. Um, uh, I think it's so cool that it's an all Asian cast, um, big budget film. Um, I'm Filipino, my husband is Vietnamese, so I kind of feel like I'm supporting my peeps. So while I'm waiting for that to come out, I'm actually reading the series right now. And I'm also watching um, the lead actress in Crazy Rich Asians is Constance Wu. So I'm watching her show Fresh Off the Boat, which um, I'm actually really loving right now it's super funny so check that out if you haven't seen it yet um, so that's kind of like what I'm reading and watching right now um, Sarah also asks what are your favorite YouTube channels so I haven't been watching much YouTube there there was a time that I was watching tons of plan with me's but I just haven't had the time lately but just one standout I would say is the planner sophisticate I really like her videos just because her planning style even though it's very decorative it's very clean and um, I think it's cool also just to watch you know we're totally different styles and I like just to see how she um, plans with all those decorative stickers. Um, there's other ones I follow too. If I remember, I'll try to link them below. And then Sarah also asked, who do I follow avidly on Instagram? There's so many that I love and I can't remember. I'm going to forget. But um, what pops into my mind right now is Honey Decade, um, Sequins and Paper, Cloth and Paper, um, sorry if i'm forgetting i'll try to list some more accounts down below as well i pretty much follow other minimalist and functional and ring bound planner girls as well as some shops that sell clip art so i can see what's out there if i want to use any of that art for some kits and let's see sarah also asks what are your top five planner supplies that you could not live without and do you have any planner hacks you could share with us? Those are some more good questions that I would love to turn into some videos and blog posts, so stay tuned for that. Um, back to my weekly planning. So I'm finishing up putting all my doodle stickers on with all my day stuff and TV shows and happy mail and all that. And then what I do next is I go through my reminders. So I use my monthly calendar to list out anything I need to plan for. So that could be birthdays, um, holidays, vacations. It could be um, reminders of, you know, to turn in my time card, to pay any bills, that I should be receiving some payments and stuff like that. So I go through my calendar and just see what's on there for this um, upcoming week and then I go ahead and write it in my calendar or in my weekly insert so as I'm doing that let's take another question here um, Philippa I think that's how you pronounce your name sorry if I said it wrong she asks what is your dream vacation what do you like to do in your free time and if you could only use one planner for the rest of your life which one would you choose so my dream vacation would be to travel somewhere in Europe, either like in Italy or France. But I'm scared of flying, so we'll see if that ever happens. But it's definitely a dream vacation for me. Um, what do I like to do in my free time? I love to read and look at magazines and binge watch shows. Um, if I could use only one planner for the rest of my life, which one would I choose? I guess at this point it would be the one I'm using, my Filofax Croc in pocket size. 
I really love it a lot. It's so portable, it's so pretty, and I guess no matter what planner I'd be using, it would definitely be a ring bound planner. So here in planning my week, what I'm doing now is filling in my tasks, my personal tasks, the planner spot tasks, and work tasks. So the way I do it is in this weekly insert, the top two rows are for all day events and then timed things. And then the third row is dedicated to the planner spot tasks. The fourth row is dedicated to personal tasks and the fifth row is dedicated to work tasks. So all, I, all I'm doing is going through my weekly tasks list and plugging it into my week. All right, so next question. Heidi asks, do you use an electronic calendar to keep track and then incorporate appointments and etc. to your paper planner? And yes, I mentioned that just a moment ago that I use my Google Calendar. As soon as an appointment comes along or some kind of due date or something I need to put on my calendar, I put it straight into my Google Calendar. And then when it's time to plan my month and my week, then I add it to my planner. Heidi also asks, how is your budget process? Do you add your payments on your daily to-dos? So my husband actually does our finances because I'm really bad at budgeting, but I do keep track of the planner spot finances, which doesn't have a whole lot to it. Um, very simple, very few line items, but I use little sticker icons to mark it on my monthly calendar, like any bills do, income and stuff like that and then when the week comes and the day comes I transfer those notes onto my weekly and daily pages the reminders to pay whatever or to make a certain transfer I also have a um, monthly worksheet that's very simple but it kind of breaks down what I need to do each week as far as payments and transfers and all that I'll make sure to make a note to myself to share that with you guys. It's very simple. But let's see. After I am done filling in all my tasks, I usually try not to work, like do any work for my day job work um, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this is probably the only place in my planner that I actually use washi tape. And I've been really into Simply Gilded washi tape, as we all are. And so I just take a piece and block out that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so Myra asks, are you going to go through with the sticker subscription? What's the word on that? So I know I've been kind of playing with the idea of doing a sticker subscription, and I am researching it right now. Um, give me some feedback of what you guys are looking for i'm kind of playing around with a few different ideas but i'm really hoping to get that kicked off later this month or sometime in august so i definitely do have that in the works um, i'm also playing around with switching over to a shopify site so it kind of goes hand in hand um, if you saw on my weekly um, insert i have a task on there to do some research into Shopify. So at the same time, I'm gonna look into the subscription service. Okay, so pretty much the last two steps in planning on my weekly inserts is going into my project pages and my brain dump pages and plugging in some tasks into like some holes in my week or light days where I can fit another task in. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just looking through my project pages and brain dump and plugging things in where I can fit them. All right, so back to the questions. Charlene asks, can you please do a what's in my planner bag? Yes, I will do that as a video coming up soon. But she also asks, what would you bring if you were traveling or going to a planner meetup? And I am I probably wouldn't bring much my planner has a lot of my essentials like my two favorite pens I do have like an extra refill in my zip pocket of my planner I have washi and stickers and sticker or uh, sticky notes 
So I don't think I would bring much, maybe my sticker binder. Um, I do have them consolidated into, mainly into one binder. At least my most used stickers are in one binder. So besides my planner, maybe my um, sticker binder. Um, Cindy asks, how did you get started with the planner spot? Was it a hobby or are you a designer by trade? So I did mention before kind of like how I got started by just designing my own inserts and stickers for my personal use and then starting to sell it to girls in the planner community. So I didn't go to um, school for design, but I do feel like I have a designer uh, gene in me somehow. I really love design, always have, always looking at logos and packaging wherever I go. I've always kind of had an eye for a certain kind of design and I've been always very specific in my taste and aesthetic. So I'm not trained formally, but I am self-taught on like um, Adobe Suite, like Photoshop, and I, I self-trained um, building websites and all and coding and all that stuff. So I'm not officially, I guess, a trained designer, but definitely a designer at heart. Ashley from Cloth and Paper asks, do you remember when you purchased your first planner? I don't remember exactly how old I was. Um, I know it was like preteen or teenager and it was from Macy's and it was like a teal co color, I think like an A5 size because it was pretty big planner. So yeah, I just remember that being my first official kind of planner. I don't even know what kind of brand it was, but I loved it so much. And I was probably the only one of my friends carrying around a big old planner. <laughs> okay, and then Stina asks, what's my favorite guilty pleasure or trashy TV show to watch? And I don't know if I actually watch any trashy TV shows. I watch Younger, The Bold Type, This Is Us. Um, oh, I know, this past, was it this past Sunday? Very Cavallari um, premiered with Kristen Cavallari from Laguna Beach in the Hills. I used to watch that back in the day. And her new show just came out and I tried watching it. And I guess that can be considered kind of trashy because it's pretty drama already and I don't know if I'll continue watching it but I definitely did watch Laguna Beach and the hills and the city and real world and road rules and um what you call it oh keeping up with the Kardashians I did watch for a while there but I guess these days I don't watch too much trashy tv anymore um, Natasha asks, how did you get into minimalist planning? Uh, I think I've always been a minimalist planner from day one, but it's definitely evolved and grown and matured a bit, and I keep learning new things from this planner community, which is awesome. Crystal, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she says, I've realized why I have connected with you. You are a believer in Christ. Um, so fun fact, I am married to a youth minister. We met at church and yes, we are a family of faith. So I'm glad to hear that you feel connected in that way. If you don't know already, my husband has his own website and ministry um, called God is Great. Some of you have bought some of his stickers and prayer cards so check that out god is great dot store so yeah glad we connected in that way so joy paz love asks what do you use to make your designs so i use adobe draw on the ipad pro um, with an apple pencil to make doodles and hand lettering and then i also use adobe photoshop to edit those um, doodles and hand lettering as well as clip art and pictures and then I use the silhouette software to design directly into that software and I think that's about it. Ashton from Virgo and Paper asks if you had to pick only one planner which one? 
So I mentioned earlier that I definitely love my Filofax Croc, but I think if I could have um, this size planner, the size rings and pocket size in the Louis Vuitton monogram, I think that would be definitely my unicorn planner. Just everything, the croc, like the size and the rings, but in the Louis Vuitton monogram. And then I would use that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Maybe. But since that doesn't exist yet, um, I would have to go with my Filofax pocket croc. Essie asks, do the rings bother you while you write? And they don't because I cut slits in my hole punches so I can easily stick inserts in and take them out. And I usually always take them out when I write, so the rings don't really bother me at all. Um, she also asks, do you use washi stickers and other planner essentials while planning? I mostly use stickers. I use like one strip of washi as you just saw and sticky notes those are pretty much all the accessories i use besides you know inserts and writing instruments mara asks when did your planner addiction begin and i mentioned that earlier that it started around my pre-teens Reese asked, why haven't you used your LV planners in a while? And it's mainly because I am using pocket size now and the LV PM, which is the pocket size, um, the rings just are not big enough for me still, even though I switched them out to the 16 millimeter. Okay, so now that I finished entering all my tasks into this weekly um, insert, I fill in this sidebar column with to-dos that aren't day specific as well as errands and dinner ideas. And then that's pretty much it for this weekly insert. Then I just take this insert, I put it back into my planner and I get started on my weekly sidebar and my daily inserts. So I plan my whole week out on this weekly insert. I don't fill in my daily inserts until the night before usually. Um, every night I plan the next day. So I keep those blank, but I do put a fresh new set, um, just a week's worth here in my planner. And then I have um, attached to the Monday insert a weekly sidebar here as well. So here I have all my um, daily inserts and I just pop them into my planner after the Sunday insert because today is actually uh, late Saturday, early Sunday. So I'm still gonna use that insert. So I put in the rest or uh, the upcoming week's inserts and then here I have this little to-do list. I was writing down some of the tasks here because I want to get them done before the weekend is over. So I'm just sticking that there. But then I get the insert, the Monday insert that has the sidebar. And this is probably besides those little doodle stickers and that like one strip of washi tape, this is the area that I like to decorate. So I usually put a full box at the top as well as a focus for this week and a focus for next week. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, let me continue on because we have a few more questions to go. Okay, Maria asked, do you do downloadable planner cards, etc.? So, so far I've only done that for the first Friday freebies on my website, theplannerspot.com. Um, but I do have plans on possibly doing some printable um, die cuts and journal cards that I will sell in the printable shop. So stay tuned for that. And then Accidental Planner asks, can you make a video recommending minimalist sticker shops? Definitely can do that. Um, so stay tuned for that. She also asked what happened to your PR team? So this is an interesting question because um, I did have a PR team just for one month. I was just testing it out. Um, they all did a great job and I just didn't continue it because of me. I didn't have the time to dedicate to it. I really wanted to do a lot of things with the PR team. I just haven't had the bandwidth to do it. And so I kind of 
um, stopped it after that one month was over and I hope to continue it again um, when I have more time to dedicate to it. So that's what happened there. And then lastly, she asked, what do you think of those people who buy a ton of planners, set them up and never use them? So I don't really think anything about it. I mean, I do wonder, you know, um, how they have the money to do that and the time because it gets very costly and very time consuming. But I myself do have a collection of planners that I don't use. So I'm not in a place to judge anybody. I think, you know, we all just love planning so much and we express it in different ways. Okay, Lakinya asks, will you be making other size inserts, A6 in particular? Um, I don't see myself doing that in any time in the near future. Um, I see myself sticking with pocket, personal, and A5, at least for the time being. It's what I know, it's what I use really, and they always say stick with what you know. So, I mean, never say never, I might do it, but probably not for a while. Veronica asks, will you ever make a tutorial with your handwriting? <laughs> Thank you for that, but probably not. I mean, I don't know. There, I don't do it as neatly and systematically as other people who do like that really fancy hand lettering. It's pretty much just my writing, and I don't know what kind of tutorial I would do on it, really, but maybe something to think about. Um, Cheryl asks, do you have plans to offer weekly inserts with options like Unpunched? Um, I always can offer Unpunched because I get them from the printer Unpunched and then I don't punch them until you place your order. So if you ever want inserts Unpunched, just put it in the notes to seller and I can definitely send them to you Unpunched. Um, as far as other options just let me know like send me a message on etsy if you have any requests and i'll see what i can do and then the last question from laura is what inspired you to do planning so i think i've said this a few times in this video i just always loved planning but these days definitely the planner community inspires me so much um, my favorite thing to do when I'm unwinding is go through Instagram and see all of your guys' pictures, how you're planning, the stuff you're buying, and all that. So it definitely inspires me in my planning, and I just take bits and pieces of what you guys are doing or your feedback and your comments and use it in my planning and in my design. All right, so that's about it. I can't believe that as I answered my last question, I'm finishing up planning my week. It worked out so perfectly. Um, I think it went pretty smoothly. Sorry for any technical difficulties. Like I noticed my table was shaking a little bit. I need to find myself a better filming setup, but I think overall it went pretty well. Um, Thank you so much for those of you who sent in questions. If any of you have any other questions I didn't answer here, feel free to shoot them my way and I will save them for the next Q&A. Um, if you have any video ideas, please let me know. I plan on doing regular plan with me videos of my like week and month, um, set up videos of course, and some like, tours of the office and how to's and stuff like that let me know if there's anything in particular oh yeah one of you requested a what's in my bag so i'll make sure to do that but other than that this is how i plan my week if you have any questions about this setup please let me know in the comments and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found some tips learned something new and i will talk to you guys next time bye